Making a living on the farm has never been easy. Using modern technology and science to improve the odds is what No-Till Day at the Milan Research Station is all about. People probably heard that we have record high commodity prices or have had them earlier this year. We've also got record high input costs, fuel, seed, chemicals, fertilizer. Uh, the profit potential for the farmers, I'm not sure is any greater today than it was three or four years ago. So we've got a tour covering risk management where they talk about the price outlook, uh, things such as crop insurance, the new farm program, things that will be covered there. Uh, uh, to give people an idea of what's coming down the road, how still we've got to manage our input costs, our pricing, our marketing strategies in order to keep our farmers viable uh, in these times that uh, still are, are awfully uncertain. Uh, a lot of our producers are very concerned about uh, you know, trying to stay in agriculture. They're just like you and I would be. They're faced with high gas prices, high food prices. You know, they got what I like to tell folks, they're consumers just like we are. So, you know, they've got to, to make enough with their operation to be able to su sustain their lifestyle. So there's a lot of apprehension, you know. Uh, I talked to some folks, you know, that were buying diesel fuel for put in this year's crop, and they said, gosh, you know, it's two to three times what they did last year. And so, you know, what that margin is going to be on the profit side come this fall, you know, they're not real sure. And so every even year, several thousand agriculture professionals gather to hear the latest research and hopefully take home a few ideas to increase their profitability. We've got 19 different tours today, so we've got a lot of things we're covering. Uh, obviously, we've got the typical crop production tours for corn, cotton, soybeans. Probably a big push today will be biofuels and switchgrass because we have a large effort ongoing here and at other research and education centers across the state. Uh, with switchgrass and other biofuel crops. We've got three different tours today devoted to that. There was quite a bit of interest this year in switchgrass and other biomass as potential sources of alternative fuel. The University of Tennessee is implementing a very comprehensive uh, integrated biofuels initiative. It goes all the way from the farm to the fueling station and we're focused on working with farmers to develop new dedicated energy crops, in particular switchgrass is our starting point, and combining that with the conversion of that switchgrass material to ethanol at a cellulosic biorefinery, a pilot scale R&D facility, and then eventually scaling that up to commercial, commercially viable levels and uh, moving it throughout the state. Switchgrass is a warm season perennial grass that grows well east of the Rockies. It produces a large amount of biomass and grows well in harsh conditions. Switchgrass can be grown in areas not suitable for traditional row crops. You could say that we are putting a weed to work for us. Putting it to, to work for us and not only to work for us, but to work for us very well and in a way that is not uh, disrupting the, the delicate balance in the ag sector with their food and feed uses and is a good fit environmentally as well. We've made tremendous advances on the technology of conversion in the last few years. It is an issue of, uh, it's, it's more difficult to break down that tough lignin bond around that plant material to get to the sugars inside that are then used to make ethanol and other useful products. And we've had tremendous advances in the, the science and the technology. We still have advances and room for improvement, but we're anxious to demonstrate this, improve the process, improve the economics, and be able to scale it up. The prospects of biomass fuel are exciting, but it's still too early to predict production costs or public delivery. We think it's uh, in the very near future, and we're making great progress right now. We hope to start construction on our pilot scale facility in East Tennessee within the next few months, and certainly by the end of this year, we hope to be producing cellulosic ethanol in the facility by the end of 2009. And then once we have that, uh, up and running. There will be some, some continued research and improvements in the process, the technology, the economics, and I think it will still be another year or two before we're ready to scale up and have the, uh, the first commercial scale facilities in operation. So our projection right now is that commercial scale operations will be in place in the 2012 to 2013 range. One of the advantages of biobass ethanol is that it doesn't compete with the food and feed uses of traditional crops like corn. And because it includes anything green and growing, corn cobs and stalks are part of the mix. 
Corn ethanol has given us a real jump start on beginning to move toward more energy independence and developing some of this infrastructure and some of the, the uh, public acceptance for ethanol and the use of it in air, air supply chain. So I would say that corn ethanol has been an important stepping stone, but I think that in the long run this has potential to be more sustainable, more affordable, and a better fit overall that we have a real opportunity to lead the nation in developing these, these dedicated energy crops and this new industry and a lot of opportunities and benefits go along with that. The No-Till Field Day is an opportunity for farmers and other producers to learn about alternative crops, new technology, and the latest research about fertilizer, storage, pest control, and other topics. It's also a time to network and to share common ground and experience. Seems like sometimes the more we learn, the more questions we have. So uh, it's, uh, I guess that's pretty good job security. But we, we got a lot of good folks doing a lot of good work. Uh, they do it because they love it. And uh, just, just hope people will take advantage of that.